Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Will It Die? In the previous video, I used a, a modern natural dyeing book to source my information. I was also curious about the historical way to do it, so I dug around a little bit. Dyes have been around forever. One of the things that I was most curious about was the mortising process. It just felt really industrial to my uneducated ear. For those of you who didn't see the previous video, I'll link it down below. Mortising is a fabric bath that you do before you actually dye the fabric. You add naturally occurring metals to it and that will help with colour permanence on the fabric. One of the oldest documents there is about natural dyeing is the Stockholm Papyrus from the Hellenistic period around 3rd to 4th century CE. In this text, mortising is mentioned repeatedly. Take this recipe for sardine purple. For a mina of wool, put in four minas of dross of iron and one shinix of sour pomegranate. But if not this latter, then use one chew of vinegar and eight chew of water heated over the fire until half of the water has disappeared. Then take the fire away from under it, put the cleaned wool in and leave it there until the water becomes cold. Then take it out, rinse it, and it will be more digit. I mispronounced all of these ancient measuring units. Please forgive me. So mortising is a lot older than I thought. I then moved forwards in history by a few centuries and started looking at the 16th century. There is a principal text from this time period, which is called the, Pli the Plito of Giovanni Rossetti. Instructions in the art of the dyers, which teaches the dyeing of woolen cloths, linens, cottons, and silk by the great art as well as by the common from 1548. In this text, Rossetti brings up gall nuts. Plant galls are abnormal outgrowths of plant tissue caused by various parasites, particularly insects. You may hear them referred to as tannins, which is a type of acid that can naturally occur, sometimes directly in dye stuff, such as pomegranate. Gold nuts can also produce natural colour by themselves, beiges on wool, cotton and silk. With an iron afterbath, this colour then changes to greys or black. Here are Rossetti's instructions. First, boil for one hour the gold nuts or gall. For each 10 arm lengths of fine woolen cloth, you will put in at least 5 pounds of gall nuts or gall that you have for it, that you have commanded to boil in the water with the more galls inside the better. Now it was actually quite hard for me to procure gall nuts and expensive. Instead I found online gall nut extract which was a little cheaper. The instructions from the website say use the same amount as tannic acid about 6 grams for 100 grams of fabric. Now in the previous video I mentioned that mortising takes forever. They actually recommend that you leave the fabric in there for 24 hours which I did not do before but I'm going to try to do today, so I better get started. The next thing I wanted to try is the dye stuffs themselves. 
I mentioned in my previous video that I just want to use random stuff that I've got around for these experiments. In my research, I saw quite a few historical recipes that used walnut shells. Now, I don't have a bunch of walnut shells just lying around, though I would like to. Last time I went for a walk in my local woods, I found a bunch of pine cones just laying on the floor, so I grabbed them. I just thought, why not? They both come from trees. I will be using the same ratio of dye stuffs to fabric as before. The book recommends that you use 50 to 100% of the equal weight of the fabric. 